Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. This is The Blobber with our Kingslayer achievement run here in EU4. We are saving up some money so that we can buy the last of the units that we need whilst waiting for this piece to come due. Then we're going to call Poland and Sweden in against Muscovy, Bohemia and the Livonian Order. And we're going to crush. We need one more claim. So we're going to work on that. Probably accept the petition. Pick their loyalty first. Yep, it's high enough. Who cares? Increase stability, adding no corruption. Oh, bugger off. Regency Council, my ass. Yes, yes. Well, I'm forced to wait. On the upside, it gives me more time to get manpower back. And as well as try and maybe... No, I've just hit military tech 9. Now would be definitely have been the time to attack. Well, they're still really far behind on military tech, so... It doesn't really matter if I... Yeah, they're not going to get to 9 before... Probably before... This is up. So you know it's not that bad. It's not too bad. Fabricate that claim, and stop, and improve my big allies. Good. Maybe have a week or two of proper army maintenance to get the ones that we accidentally attritioned. Done, so goodbye again. <clears throat> now just watch as the autonomy comes down. Look at our improved trade percent here now. And consider building some more trade ships. Let's check how useful they are. How good are you at protecting trade in Novgorod? You cost us 2.2 ducats, but you gain us something in the order of 0.6 apparently, so you're three times better than you cost in maintenance. Create a proper fleet. That's a bit expensive. Prove our prestige is also not likely, so I'll go with create a proper fleet. Muscovy is suffering attrition. How are we doing in Poland? Anne Holt is winning. We're doing minus 1%. Oh, because of our really low Diplo rep because we integrated. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. But we have to have a loan apparently. Or I can manage to just avoid it. I gain the loyalty back. Trick do. When does this Regency Council end? Four more years. Il Boris comes of age. And it's giving us time to get more manpower. What about Muscovy's manpower? You may ask. Why? It's higher than ours. And his force limit has gone up. He must be buying force limit buildings. I'll help with that. Go home at war. Good. Give our armies a couple of months worth of time to gain morale before we genuinely help. And then we say Livonian Order is no more. So we'll move off.
Got you. Did we take a loan? Good. At the moment, that fort is safe. But eh. Patience is our virtue. Where you say? Why in Twer we want tax? <laughs> Didn't really want Narva. Yucky Christian land. Okay. Poor thing. Did you at least break their alliance with? Yeah, good. Oh, we need to come home first. Now we can come back here. separate piece for Danzig, I actually will consider it. As long as they don't have the mission, like, get Danzig, which they don't. Because that lets me westernize for free. set in Sweden. Wait for this call to come in. Actually, it is the perfect time for us. Manpower and the convert speed. It's going to be challenging to convert. It's going to help us the most. Hmm. Something to be said for the tech cost, something to be said for religious, admin, trade,
I think I just want to go like defensive, truthfully. Um, yeah, let's go with it. Focus, uh, admin focus, because we're too far ahead of time here. Still winning. We'll reconsider that land as vital interest now that I have it. <coughs> Part of Bohemia. Pity thing. Yeah, you can desire Danzig as long as you don't desire it too much. Now let's see if we can drag you in against Muscovy. Boom, boom. I want stuff and things. I have a claim on that one. <clears throat> and it's not protected by a fort. So, we declare over that one. Come, come. Bohemia still won't join because they're recovering from their previous war. We can afford to roll a couple of generals. the same. Good for you, you escaped. Here comes everyone! Boring finish. Of bloody That's annoying. Wow, that's going to fall really quickly. Oh, they weren't funding it. No, it's their capital. But they weren't funding it because it, <laughs> it's got so many dead. Anyway, here comes Sweden <clears throat> and Poland. Are you not under QQ? Oh, because the Ottomans are eating them. Good. Good for them. Can you stand up to Swedish steel? No, not even a little bit. Especially because they don't have Tech 9. Poland have Tech 9? No. Does Lithuania have... Ooh, you're still on 7. You're dirty. Dirty, Poland. Split. Make sure each one has a general. Sieges. This time... Yeah. It's, it's a little one-sided. going to want from this peace deal becomes the next question. And I have. If 
Wait, did I lose some claims? Oh, I lost some claims while I wasn't looking. Oh well. Have to spend some diplo points. Right. Sweden, get him! Get him! Thank you. We told Sweden to get. Hopefully he stays where he is, but gets them before he moves over. Ooh. Ooh, me likey. Me likey a lot. Okay, let's have a look. I mean, it's not terrible. ones cost the most? I don't agree with taking that one necessarily. Taking this one does seem gets rid of the forts in the way of over here next time. That one, yes. On that. That one's got a claim. That one doesn't, so we can leave that one. one this one and this one have claims. <clears throat> we can do that. That looks like a fine choice. Even do that. Once he's willing to accept.
Thank you. I think that's all right. Walks the line between being useful and being costing too many uh, deploy points. Pay that once. For everything. Come on home. Fabricate new claims. Check our core zone map. Isn't one? And we can check our fort map again. Now that we... One does so many here. One... Kind of redundant now. And this one can go away. Here, this one does here, this one does the front. Very good. Wait for our men to reinforce. One more. And one more, and then we can turn it off. Boom. Three. Split. Muscovite must go. Silly. Anyway, definitely want one on Colm. How are we doing here? Very well. Might be worth our time instead improving. Also, I could spend down, but I don't have the points to do that at the moment. About the tech tree, what is it? It says we should buy this. I'm so far ahead on mill that I'm not entirely sad about paying this once. And the conversion should fix everything else. Tolerance plus active missionary, seven, will go instead to Tolerance plus five, seven, twelve, twelve thereabouts, which is enough to get rid of it. Once you also include the tension going away. Yep. See, now our cost for rooting out corruption will drop. Well, it would have. Woo. Add the mere. Zone. Do the same here. Buttons. States get pissy. Always do. Let's have a look. That one's pretty good for me. That one's kind of a 
okay for the boyards. Not great. Where's my money going? Going into root out corruption. <clears throat> so let's just hope that that finishes soon then, I guess. Claim. Oh, we're gonna get them all. Pokemon. Finally, positive money. Speed up. useful for us to do. Gain one base tax. Oh. Sure. Conversion successful. Estonia happy. Danzig still pissed. Give them time. Rivals. Thought that taking all that land from Muscovy would be worth more. <clears throat> Lose some prestige. It's nearly time to call an end to this episode. Good stability. Beautiful. Counteracts my religious unity almost entirely. When is this peace due? And can I win it single handedly next time? My force limit? He only went down to 29. Oh. I went up to 32, so I should be able to win it by myself next time. Not that there's any need to push, put that theory to the test. I'll probably still call in Sweden. I don't know about Poland here. I, I probably would prefer to spend the points down making him trust me fully again. Discipline guy is good. And let's try and get up to that tech cost one. But it is actually genuinely time to end the episode. So, thank you for joining me. This has been The Blobber with our Kinslayer Achievement Run. We're doing alright. I mean, that looks about equal, but... Development. Square. Strictly bigger. Than Muscovy. By a lot. 50. 350. They're screwed. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching and you'll join us again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>